again, name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries and first of all to mind our sins. You are the mighty God and the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us from the lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we who, the incarnation of Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, and live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. You have defied me in word, says the Lord. Yet you ask, what have we spoken against you? You have said, it is vain to serve God. And what do we profit by keeping his command and going about in penitential dress in awe of the Lord of hosts? Rather, must we call the proud blessed? For indeed, evildoers prosper, and even tempt God with impunity. Then they who fear the Lord spoke with one another, and the Lord listened attentively. And a record book was written before him of those who fear the Lord and trust in his name. And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, my own special possession on the day I take action. And I will have compassion on them as a man has compassion on his son who serves him. Then you will again see the distinction between the just and the wicked, between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve him. For lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble, and the earth and the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the Son of Justice with its healing rays. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who the Jesus said to his disciples, 
Suppose one of you has a friend who goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey. I have nothing to offer him. He says in reply, From within, do not bother me. The door is already locked. My children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. I tell you, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. The one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake if he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Today is the Feast of Lady of the Rosary, and um, you know, it's about prayer. It's you know, uh, uh, the Rosary. We're giving gift for that handed down uh, through the centuries. And again, in the 1500s, and uh, under Pius V, and then, um, yeah, it, it was a uh, a separate thing from a contrafraternity. <laughs> How do you say that word? Contrafraternity of, of the Rosary, a special group of people that we were honored to celebrate this day and you know honor the Rosary in that way. And then as the as it went on, um, from the, I believe Pius the Ninth, the Ninth made it, you know, something for the Universal Church and something we hold dear and get to honor this whole month, every whole month, right? And honor Our Lady of the Rosary. Uh, because again, we hold this her intercession, her so dear, but also the prayer, this prayer that is our foundation that keeps us going. And why it's such a foundation is because it walks through the whole uh, salvation story of Jesus, right? From his conception, to his birth, to his teachings, to his suffering, to his resurrection, and then Mary is Queen of Heaven. Today we hear, you know, each time we look at the scripture reading or, or we can we can put it in context either of the rosary or our prayer. Today again, it's about prayer, persistence, praying, always, you know, hanging there. The rosary, the rosary help us do that every day. We can we can do that. Focus, we have a purpose, we have a plan, a guide, and you know, it's for God's guidance in our life, personally and in our world. And even this first reading, talking about the day of the Lord in Malachi, you know, of course that's um, also part of it too. We pray, you know, in the, in the glorious mysteries there, um, that Christ is going to come again. But it talks about, right, in the Old Testament, he has this book of life, you know, a record book was written before him. Those who fear the Lord and trust in his name, they shall be mine, they shall be my special possession. And so on the day of the Lord, we have that hope and that good and that grace and grace that he will bring us. And that's another hope again for our Lady of the Rosary, right? The promises of eternal life. So we pray today that by saving the suffering, death, and resurrection, and the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, we may gain eternal life in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
after hearing the word of God when we offer our prayers to the Father. For the Holy Catholic Church, may God infuse her with his wisdom and grace, empowering all to spread his light, love throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in positions of leadership, may God's love and grace inform their choices as they care for those they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with poverty, sickness, or loneliness, may God comfort them and provide what they need to heal and prosper. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we continue to be conformed evermore to the teachings and the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased members of the St. Mark's Rosary Society and for all who have died, may God's mercy envelop, envelop them and bring them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all who died recently and for all who have died from the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Any special petitions you wish to offer? Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our prayer. Thank you for the, this gift of the rosary. And then how many times that you have answered our prayers and stood with us through this <laughs> special gift of prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God. Of you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received wine we offer you. The fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring. So honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lived and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we join praise with theirs in one chorus, exaltation praise as we acclaim.
a pure sacrifice being offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
will graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, keep us always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not upon our sins, on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity, according to your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. We share a sign of peace. Sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 You said, I'm 
pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim this sacrament, the death and resurrection of your Son, so being partakers of his suffering, also we may merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. There's a special rosary today, right, for uh, Angel Gramon, and uh, that'll be at 415. The Lord be with you. May God's blessings upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Amen. Have a